Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So today's video is going to be about toy collecting. So today we're going to look at some figure stands I ordered from a seller on eBay. Uh, let's check them out and see how good they are and uh, they look pretty good to me. So let's take a look. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Uh, so today is going to be a toy video. So I've got my vintage Masters of the Universe collection and Masters of the Universe Origins collection that I want to be able to display better um, because I mean the Origins figures stand up pretty good by themselves but the vintage figures uh, you know I have to lean them up a lot of times against stuff uh, if you want them to stand properly even if the legs are tight you know it's just these guys were made to be held and played with you know not to be standing up straight all the time <laughs> So I got to looking on eBay on figure stands. There's a lot of different sellers, but I found one seller that has a good variety. It looked like a, the kind of product I wanted. And uh, the price, in my opinion, seemed to be very competitive. So let's take a look at what I got. All right, so I purchased some figure stands from Dwight. Uh, I'm gonna leave the eBay link to, uh, to this particular link of what I bought. So you can go in there, find that link, and then also find his store where I think he sells more than just these kind of figure stands. Um, so Dwight was nice enough to send me a sample of all of his different colors, but I had purchased uh, 40 gray skull greens, which is this one right here. Uh, and uh, in the listing, I believe he says that the gray skull green doesn't do justice color wise in the photos and I believe he's correct I like it it's I don't know how the camera represents it but it's like this matte you know uh, gray uh, gray skull green finish you know uh, I think it it looks cool it doesn't distract from the figure itself uh, that's kind of just what I wanted but looking at these other colors they look really awesome too I've got them all laid out so we can I can show you the different colors oh yeah and I just want to say that uh, the only I got, you could say that I got uh, these extra colors for free, but he had already mentioned do, sending those to me anyways. Uh, I paid for for these these stands, so I'm not, you know, making this video because I'm getting free stuff. Uh, just want to give uh, an honest uh, little review here, and uh, and from what I can tell, these things are. I mean, I believe obviously 3D printed, but they're high quality. They're very, very sturdy. I probably couldn't snap this if I tried. And I believe, uh, you know, my guess is that they're gonna fit most figures, but the ones with the different kind of awkward feet, maybe just a little corner of them will probably go in, which would still serve its purpose. Uh, this purple one looks pretty cool with Skeletor. All right, I got some example of some figures with harder feet to put in. So Hordak I was wondering about and it does fit in there. It, it serves its purpose. It's not in there as tight as the other figures, but hey, it still works. Uh, so looks like he stands up no problem. And then Buzz Off or you know Whip Whiplash or anybody with that kind of feet. Uh, looks like this foot seemed to go in, but this foot didn't quite, but it doesn't matter. It, it, it holds him stable like that. So there's some examples of the figures being held in. Uh, Again, these things are highly durable, uh, professionally 3D printed, and they got that, uh, I didn't mention yet, it, it's got that stone pattern, which is pretty cool. Definitely gives that Motu vibe. And I thought I'd show you an example of a, here's a vintage Leonardo, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle in there. Again, it serves the purpose, it grabs at least one of the foot, one of the feet really nicely, so, uh, you know, you could use it for other figures too. But uh, for Motu, it just looks really awesome, I think. And definitely exactly what I was hoping for. It met all my expectations. All right, so let me, uh, so again, I got the Gray Skull Greens, or is the one I bought the bulk of. And then uh, Dwight was nice enough to send a sample of all these colors. So I'll show you what these colors are. We've got uh, green, black, blue, purple, yellow, over here we got glow in the dark green uh, for obviously for it would be great for scare glow. I only have an origin scare glow. Uh, I'll see if I can do a glow in the dark representation, but I have a hard time doing that on camera. We got light aqua blue, orange, red, 
gray and bronze or brown. And the colors are very nice, bright, and vibrant colors. Except for gray skull green, which it's supposed to not be like that. <laughs> All right, I think it might be coming out okay. You can see that the glow in the dark stand with the origin scare glow. I don't have a vintage scare glow, but uh, you know, got the glow in the dark covered for your glow in the dark figures. Definitely neat. So I reached out to Dwight when I found his uh, listing on eBay, and uh, basically he works out package deals. So you can get a really competitive price on these if you want to suit up your whole collection. Um, and if uh, you mentioned the Radical Reseller, Dwight said he would go ahead and make an additional uh, uh, discount. So tell him the Radical Reseller sent you whenever you go down to the link in the description of this video and you can get uh, an even better deal if that's even possible. But I felt like I got a really outstanding deal because uh, usually stands like this it seems like people try to charge four or five bucks a piece for them and i'm telling you he's at least right now he's charging significantly cheaper than that you can suit up your whole collection for pretty cheap and uh have some color and style that you want too so so the last thing i want to do for this video is i want to get my collection updated and put these figure stands on my vintage figures and uh, see how the collection looks all right, so I went and did a little work and made my own custom display. So uh, I was getting so many good figures here, uh, it's hard to get them all displayed properly. And I, yeah, so I got the origins over here on this side and the mix. I wanna see if I can fit both, all four cats once I get the other Panthor in here in the middle. Uh, and then vintage over on this side and still vintage on this row and the hoard down there so yeah I'm pretty excited about that All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, check out the uh, link in the description to these figure stands. If it's something you're interested in, go over and support Dwight's uh, eBay business. Uh, I think it's a quality piece of merchandise. Uh, and the price, uh, I don't think it can be beaten on eBay. So check it out. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one.